Many years ago, not even that many years ago, to get a de novo, you first had to send us a 510K. We wouldn't clear your device, and then you could request the de novo. Two years ago, Congress changed that for the better. They said you no longer have to submit the 510K. You could ask for a de novo outright. We call those direct de novos. And that's terrific because you and we don't have to spend our time on a 510K submission that we all know that we're not going to clear. But even more so, it becomes important that you seek our advice on what it may take to come to market. Remember, for de novo, we're dealing with an innovative lower-risk device. So it's something that we probably have not seen. There's likely not to be any guidance out there on it. Therefore, request a pre-submission meeting so we can better understand the technology and we can give you the right kind of advice to help bring that product to market. It's even more important now because in the past, while you may have had the opportunity to submit the 510K and then talk to us about your product then, now that you can come to us without the 510K, it's even more important that you get the advice up front. So ask early, and if you have more questions, ask often.